Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the expected value that the inventions add to a box. The reason that I did not include it in the original assessment was largely because none of the boxes we're going to open will have them. And the variance is quite high. You can get something like Mana Vault, Mana Crypt at 200. I think the other one's 180. Or you can get something like a Gear Hulk, which is 40 to $50 at best. So the variance is extremely high. And it's not wise to pa open packs expecting to get even a invention. But it is especially not likely that you will get the invention that you want. So buying singles, as always, is the best solution. Uh, you should not be cracking packs for value because the value just does not exist in this particular set. So let's take a quick look. So rings at 151, Aether Vial at 112, the Swords of Fire of, and Ice at 130, Feast and Famine at 104, Lotus Petal at 136, Gale Hulk at 69, the green one and then red gear hulk at 37 hang a back walker only at 34. so you could get an expedition war of 34 dollars and if that was your entire you know if that was what you opened in the case i would feel real bad for you but then you could get an expedition that was 200 dollars that being all said math all added up the expeditions are an extra $20 on the $85 expected value of a booster box. Now a lot of you have mentioned that prices will spike because of the Pro Tour. They will for some cards, but the large majority of cards, 95 to 99% of the cards will fall in price. And the spike of one or two cards, maybe even four cards, is not going to offset the drastic fall in price of everything else in the set. The set is a lottery. I'll explain why lotteries are bad for our society in general as well as our magic community in a later video. Overall, you know, there is when you have a set and let's say it's 80-20, 20% of the value in the set is in expeditions that the majority of players will never open. It feels bad. It really does. Anyway, bye guys.